I have to take deep breaths when I play this game because I am. Like, concentrate? No, I don't even have to concentrate. Look, I'm looking over here. Stop it's just it. by the beauty of how I play. Uh, well, maybe if I had cheat codes, I could win this too. I am not using cheat codes. I take offense to that. I Right now, I've taken umbrage and I've put it in my pocket. Ooh, I got a pocket. <sighs> we'll just cut down cover. Hey guys. What's up, Peter? What's up, Pete? Peter. Nothing. Nothing. What's going on, man? Um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You seem down. What are you like? You in a fight with your parents or something, dude? No. Did you wreck your car again? No. Are you failing your finals? Probably. I told you I'd study with you. Did you find out Deborah cheated on you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. So what's up, dude? It's the FAFSA. I can't figure it out. I don't know how to fill it out. I don't know why I should fill it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know. Take it easy. I'll take this one, John. Um, okay. So the FAFSA. Short for free application for federal student aid. It's your ticket to federal and state student aid. And a good chunk of private and college sponsored scholarships, too. <laughs> Thanks, Stuart! Just anyway, do. so the forms are available after January 1st, and you gotta turn them in just as soon as possible. So the sooner you get your FAFSA in, the more aid you're likely to get, even if you don't think you'll qualify for aid. It's just smart to complete your FAFSA. Oh, what's going on? The FAFSA doesn't have to leave you confused, Pete. I'll walk you through the steps right now. <clears throat> Alright, now before you fill it out, the process would be a whole lot easier if you gather all the information you need ahead of time. Like what? That's a good question. Like the school code for the schools you're applying to or that you attend. You get them on the homepage of the FAFSA website, which is www.fafsa.ed.gov. Next, you'll need your FAFSA PIN number. You got that? No, where do I get Ooh, that? I got the answer for you. You can get it at www.pin.ed.gov. Anything else I should have ready? Indeed. You need your social security card and your driver's license. Got them. Last year's tax returns and W-2 forms. The records of any untaxed income like welfare benefits and veterans benefits and your current assets information such as bank and brokerage statements and mortgage information. Whew. Wow. Does that sound about right, John? Am I missing anything? Why are you talking like this? Oh, uh, maybe a FAFSA worksheet to practice on. <laughs> Thanks, Stuart. Who is Stuart? Uh, now the FAFSA has seven steps that ask about you your school plans, your financial information, and more. The first few dozen questions just ask personal information, just like your name and your social security number. And be sure to fill out your name exactly how it is on your social security card. That old social security card. <laughs> Thanks, FDR, right? Did FDR invent social security cards? The history books, go open them, they're available at your library. Cool, all right. Another question asks what kind of financial aid you're interested in. What if I don't know? Good question, Jimmy. Just answer three in that box there and you'll be considered for all available aid. Don't forget that you can always turn down particular types of the aid at a later time. Oh. Also remember that saying that you're not interested in loans will not increase your grants. Isn't that great, Jimmy? I'm Peter. I think you've <laughs> lost it, Jason. Other questions that you run into will ask about your financial information, okay? For this, the practice sheet you filled out is particularly handy, so let's grab that. I did not have a chance to fill it out. Fantastic. Even if a question doesn't apply to you, don't leave anything blank. Enter a zero. The questions near the middle of the FAFSA ask about your dependency status. I don't know what I am. I can tell. If you answer those questions, you'll find out. If you end up being independent, you can skip all those questions and move down to the next section. Isn't that easy, John? It's so creepy. It's just like an infomercial. You are. What? Before you start, you should check out how FAFSA defines a parent. And if your parents are divorced, you fill it out based on who you lived with for the past 12 months. Hey, Jason, why don't you tell them about the benefits? <laughs> Stuart, you've got it again, old boy. The questions near the end of the FAFSA cover benefits such as the reduced price school lunch program. You see that there? Mm -hmm. It's also good to know that students who currently get benefits might be eligible and qualify for increased aid. Well, I don't know that. Well, then you ask your parents, little guy. <laughs> the last section of the FAFSA is the school codes. Enter the school codes of the colleges you're thinking of attending or currently attend. The government will share your FAFSA info with the colleges you select. Now use your FAFSA PIN to sign in your online form, check that all your info is correct, and voila, you're done. Well, I guess that's not too hard. No, it sure isn't. Just like taking out the trash isn't hard. Right, John? I can't take this anymore. See, Jimmy? Peter. Sure thing, Tom. Once you've submitted your FAFSA, the government will come up with your expected family contribution. Those results will be sent to you and your schools in the form of an SAR. 
student aid report. Oh. Yeah. If you filled out your FAFSA on the web, you can expect to receive your SAR within two to three weeks. If you submitted a hard copy of that FAFSA, you can expect to receive your SAR within four to six weeks. And then what happens? Well, and then your college will send you a financial aid package based on the FAFSA results, including any federal student aid you qualify for. So you mean they'll send me everything once it's complete? That's it. That's FAFSA in a nutshell. Right, John?